Okay, David, week seven, what are we doing at Fjellhammer Home? Fjellhammer Home, we're introducing uh, this week golf to about 500 kids. It's sensationally good fun. Uh, we started on Monday, today's Wednesday, and then we're going on Friday as well. About 150 to 175 every day. Uh, we've got lots of different activities with uh, tri golf, plastic golf clubs, plastic balls, and all the kids seem to be having an absolutely superb time. What do you think the teacher's view is on tri golf? The teachers have had a great response. We've had a great response from them and the kids are having a great response to it. Teachers very, very positive. Uh, the feedback in the, in, uh, when they've had lunch afterwards as the kids think it's fantastic. So it's great, not just for physical activity, but mental as well. Okay, and obviously the equipment that you see here is uh, versatile. You can take it anywhere. You can play with it inside and out. It's safe. What do you think about it? First class, Tri Golf. It was introduced to uh, in Wales with the Ryder Cup. 175,000 people got introduced. Whoops, just got hit by a ball. That was a good one. Safety first. Hasn't hurt anybody. Uh, no brain, no pain. Um, so you, you can take anywhere. Small gyms, large gyms. Doesn't break glass. It's first class. And it gives instant success. So it's not too difficult. So people get points and they think golf's fun. It's getting away from that stigma that you've got to be, uh, that golf is a snobbish sport as well. Everybody's trying it, all walks of life, and everybody's having a good time. So we've got to the school teachers, and now the next step is to try and get to the parents and show them what golf can do for kids. Uh, way back in November, we had the school teachers at Losby trying to convince them that we could show them what golf could do, and this is the stage we're at now. What is the next step with that, do you think? I think this next step, it's, it's not just done one in one year. I think it's going to take three, four years, and we've just got to keep plugging golf school, golf in the schools. We've got to get the teachers to, uh, taught how to use Tri Golf. It's an easy thing to use, so you don't have to be a golf professional, but we just have to get people out there and keep going. Just one introduction isn't enough. It's, they're just going to, the interest is going to fall away. We just keep plugging, 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 and hopefully we'll get some golfers out of them. One of the things that I hear the most is, certainly when we've got uh, some of our players playing uh, national level tournaments, is the national coach is saying we only have three or four boys, 14, 15 in the national setup. The participation levels in golf is low. So something like this, maybe in five years time, would help increase the numbers that we have on that level? Without a shadow of doubt, we've got the Olympics coming up. And then maybe in 2020, one person from the Hall Mahal is going to be in that team. You never know. It's, uh, we're really hoping that it's going to bear fruit. Uh, so, yeah, very, very positive. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. 20, 2016 golf is an Olympic game, a worldwide sport. Participation levels, over 75 million people in the world are playing golf. And I think it's our responsibility to get out there with a try golf bag, get into the schools and try and grow the game. Yeah, but, and just for example, you know, we're 10 minutes from Losby Golf Club here in Fjellholm, Holm, and 90% of these kids hadn't been up to the golf course ever. So, uh, and they live 10 minutes away from it. So it's a bit of a scandal. So this is the only way. We've got to take golf to the kids and don't expect the kids to come to the golf course. So what we're saying is it's going to take a little bit longer than a year to get kids to Losby. We're prepared to do this for three, five years before we see a real uh, success story with it. Without this. a shadow of doubt, it's, yeah. it's going to pay off, but it's going to take that much time. Yeah. And you've got to be enthusiastic. And believe me, it's hard work getting these guys doing it, but it's great fun. Good job, Dave. Thanks. That's brilliant.